No matter where we travel in the world, water birds are an omnipresent group of animals out in the environment. Perhaps no location we have ever visited exemplifies this fact as well as southern Florida, as we encounter dozens of water bird species representing many diverse families. It will take us several videos to share them all with you, and in today's episode, we will be taking a look at an eclectic group of birds that we were not expecting to see on our trip. These birds belong to many different taxonomic families, but they have all evolved to capitalize on the resources that aquatic habitats provide. So without further ado, let's begin our Florida water bird adventure. Though many of the birds in this video were a surprise for us to see, the common gallinule is a species that we knew we would come across as soon as we arrived in Florida. This member of the rail family is incredibly common, and we encountered many of these birds poking around the marshes, lakes, and swamps of southern Florida. They have a huge range, found throughout the eastern half of the U.S. and down through much of Central and South America. Like most rails, the common gallinule is omnivorous, eating plant material like pond weeds and also small aquatic animals such as insects and amphibians. Gallinules were a common sight on our birding expeditions, and their distinct dark plumage and beautiful red beaks made them an instantly recognizable species. We had a particularly surprising encounter while exploring an area of preserved mangroves. We came across a large flock of blue-winged teals. These guys are incredibly widely distributed and can be found all across North America and down through parts of Central and South America as well during the winter. Many subspecies of blue-winged teal exist throughout this range, breeding from northern Canada to the Atlantic coast of the United States. This flock, comprised of the Atlantic blue-winged teal, was in its wintering range, where it spends the harsher winter months before returning north to breed in the spring. Blue-winged teals inhabit coastline habitats, as well as brackish inland marshes, lakes, and shallow streams. These guys are surface feeders and mostly feed on aquatic plant matter, though they'll also eat small crustaceans and aquatic insects as well. Though this species is quite common to see, this was our first time filming them, which made this find even more exciting. In an ecosystem dominated by aquatic habitats, it is natural that there is an abundance of shorebird species present in the environment. One of the species we got on camera was the greater yellowlegs, which we filmed early one morning on a large salt flat. They are named for their bright yellow legs, which allow them to wade through their watery habitat with ease. These guys will form small flocks as they're doing here, or they will break off and forage individually for small invertebrates and fish. The other species of shorebird that we encountered was the beautiful ruddy turnstone, a widespread wading bird that can be found all over the world. They breed in the far northern regions of Europe, Asia, and North America, but in the winter they will migrate to tropical and subtropical coastlines along the Americas, Africa, Asia, and Australia. They have one of the most impressive migratory ranges of any wading bird, and they are a common sight along the beaches of Florida. The ruddy turnstone is named for its characteristic feeding behavior in which it flips over rocks and debris to seek out prey items such as crustaceans, worms, and mollusks. These guys are incredibly resilient, able to survive in habitats from the Arctic to the tropics, and they also do quite well on man-made structures such as jetties and docks. We were able to film many turnstones on a jetty by the beach, and their comfort level around humans afforded us an amazing up-close encounter. The brown pelican was a familiar species to us, and we encountered them in large numbers while exploring in southern Florida. We have featured these guys on the channel before on our adventure through the British Virgin Islands, and we caught up with them again along the Florida coastline. By far one of the most iconic species we came across, brown pelicans are recognizable by their large bill and yellow crest. As common and well-known as this species is now, though, they were actually endangered only a few decades ago. Thankfully, however, after protective measures were put in place, such as the banning of harmful chemicals like DDT, the species has since made a resurgence. Brown pelicans are a gregarious species, meaning that they spend the majority of their time in large flocks year-round. 
famous for their unique feeding style, brown pelicans will dive headfirst into the water to catch their prey, which for these guys is almost entirely fish such as menhaden, mullet, and silversides. We were lucky enough to film this behavior in incredible detail while in the British Virgin Islands, so if you haven't seen that episode, be sure to go check it out. There will be a link in the description down below. Of all the places we filmed, Florida had one of the largest diversities of water birds we've ever encountered. Because of this, we couldn't possibly fit all of the incredible species we came across in a single episode. So, this will be the first in a multi-part series where we highlight the huge variety of water birds they call Florida home. Be sure to stay tuned for the next episode of this series, because you will not want to miss out on all the unique species we'll be covering. And if you enjoyed this episode, leave a like on the video and comment down below if you're excited for this new mini-series. And remember, it's not just water birds we have coming down the line. We have more episodes from Florida, Costa Rica, and so much more planned for you guys, so subscribe to the Wildlife Brothers now to stay up to date on all of our new content. See you soon, guys!